Ten years ago, the municipality of Eindhoven decided to realize its urban ambitions in the Western Corridor, which lies to the northwest of the center. The corridor, which includes the Phileas route, connects Central Station with Eindhoven Airport. Various urban projects for living, working and recreation have been developed in the corridor. This has led to a marked increase in passenger traffic. The Phileas concept is attuned to this situation by connecting all the elements of the Western Corridor – Station District, Emma Singel Complex, Stadium Quarter, Stripe S as Eindhoven's additional city heart, Avoluon, the Stripe Residential Area, Trade Forum, the new neighbourhood of Meerhoven, and Eindhoven Airport. This will improve the connection between the municipalities of Eindhoven and Feldhoven and Eindhoven Airport. The Phileas is a major evolutionary step in the development of high-quality public transport. The Phileas, with operational flexibility, superb performance, reliability and ease of maintenance, has the capability to be used in urban environments. Quite simply, the Phileas brings real advantages to the current and future needs of public transport. In comparison with light rail, tram or metro systems, the investment and maintenance costs for the infrastructure are low because overhead wires, rails and other equipment like signalization are not needed. It combines the advantages of tram and metro systems with the flexibility and low exploitation costs of a bus system. With the following properties, it's the solution for high-quality transport problems of many cities. The Phileas modular concept consists of body modules, sub-frame modules for the axles, and a modular hybrid driveline. With these modules, different variants can be built with different passenger capacity and a vehicle length of 18 meters, 24 meters, 5.5 meters respectively. Two of the length variants have been built for the Dutch market, the 18 meter version and the 24 meter version. The monocoque hull also meets all the requirements regarding isolation, fire resistance and recycling. Crash tests have proved a superior resistance against side impact accidents with passenger cars. A service life of at least 20 years is guaranteed for the Phileas body. Phileas has a hybrid drive. An LPG engine drives a generator which supplies power to an electric motor on each of the wheels, except the front ones. The use of lightweight materials, plastics and aluminium, reduces the vehicle's power consumption. While moving, the engine, which operates at a constant speed, produces more power than is necessary. This energy, and the energy released during braking, is converted into electric power and stored in the batteries. By using this stored power, Phileas can travel three kilometers without producing exhaust gases, making it ideal for use in a city center. Phileas uses 30% less fuel than an LPG bus of the same size. The magnets are embedded in the road surface every four meters. This system is more reliable than systems based on optical guidance or on a rail embedded in the road surface. The system is not hindered by snow and is cheaper to produce. Public transport operating on a dedicated, unobstructed traffic lane enhances the quality level. Phileas uses dedicated lanes with flyover crossings and has the right of way at junctions. This keeps both the average speed and the motion as smooth as possible. The approximately 15 kilometers of dedicated traffic lanes are made of concrete because it's hard and insensitive to deformation caused by constant use. The electronic guidance sends Phileas along the same track with a deviation of less than a centimeter and this stresses the road surface. 
If the infrastructure were made of asphalt, the entire road surface would need to be replaced every two or three years. Within the quality public transport route, the Birkenland Flyunder is the biggest and most far-reaching part of the project. For a period of 18 months, traffic on the ring road suffered from delays because of the construction. The Phileas will curve gracefully around Eindhoven and Feldhoven. Just like city buses, Phileas travels on rubber wheels, but that's where the similarity ends. Providing passenger comfort and ease of use were central to the design. The doors and aisle are extra wide, so that wheelchairs, zimmer frames and prams will not be obstructed. The boarding height of Phileas is the same as that of the stops, making boarding and alighting both fast and easy. The seats are fastened to the side walls, which means that bags and suitcases can be stored beneath them. Phileas has both air conditioning and a temperature control system, so that the temperature is always pleasant. In the center, there's extra room for luggage and prams. There's also a specially adapted space for a wheelchair. The displays and PA system provide passengers with information about the stops and the arrival time at the final destination. Eindhoven and Feldhoven are busy constructing a new cycling connection in order to make urban areas more accessible. At the Landforum Meerreich, Flightforum Grasreich and Zandreich stops in Meerhoven, there'll be two covered but unguarded bicycle sheds. When it comes to managing the public transport system in Eindhoven, the principles of circulation, regularity and punctuality were established 10 years ago. These ingredients now form the basis for what is called DRIS. Eindhoven Central Station will have an auditory unit for persons with a visual impairment. The information system will allow passengers with or without such an impairment to request information concerning bus and Phileas departure times. The unit will be located near the bus station exit. Ribbed tiles will guide passengers to the unit. The electronics will be shielded so that only the control panel and the speakers are visible. The unit has an infrared sensor to detect motion. As soon as someone steps in front of the device, he or she will hear enter the number of your route from two loudspeakers. The user will enter the route number via a keyboard and indicate the desired direction of travel. The system will then indicate the relevant time and departure platform. It will also generate timetable listing the alternative routes, if applicable, from which the passenger may choose. The user will be informed as soon as the platform number is assigned. If no further transport is possible in the desired direction, the system will indicate this. In the high-quality public transport of today and tomorrow, only the fittest cities will grow and prosper. In short, Cities that deliver the quality, flexibility, choice and value that an ever more demanding public requires.